Trump gone? Shock as United States Council votes to impeach President. Just one month after he officially took office, the Richmond City Council in California officially called on Congress to investigate impeachment action. Gail McLaughlin, a council member, proposed the resolution, citing Trump's business interests and assets as the reason. She said in a statement, due to the worldwide financial benefits of President Trump, he is in violation of the Foreign Emoluments Clause and the Domestic Emoluments Clause of the U.S. Constitution. Leading constitutional scholars and government ethics experts warned Donald J. Trump shortly after the November 2016 election that, unless he fully divested his businesses and invested the money in conflict-free assets to a blind trust, he would violate the Constitution from the moment he took office. President Trump owns various business interests and receives various streams of income from all over the world. Many of these businesses receive, and streams of income include, emoluments from foreign governments, states of the United States, or the United States itself. Shortly before Trump took office in January, he handed over the keys to his business empire to sons Donald Jr. and Eric, saying he would have no involvement in it. Another council member Jail Myrick, who also voted for the resolution, said, Ordinarily, it would be odd to be talking about the, well, everything about this administration is odd. But it would be odd to be talking about the impeachment of a president only a month into his term. Unfortunately, with this president, it's oddly appropriate. The emoluments clause, which the council is using, states public servants can't hold office and accept payments, gifts or titles from foreign governments or businesses without Congress say so. A lawsuit was filed days after Trump took office alleging his hotel in Washington was a violation of the clause. But Trump's attorney Sherry Dillon said the clause didn't apply to his hotel, stating federal law protects Trump. And the prospect of Trump actually being kicked out of office is unlikely without any proof he has profited while in office.